What is up, everybody? Welcome to AK Plays. I'm AK. Let's play. All right, today we're going to be going over this insane hybrid build I just put together. It puts out crazy DPS. And no, it's not the one that you see everybody else doing with Banshees and Alpha Bridge and Pred. Uh, this is actually a part D3, part Banshee. It uh, With the Ninja Bike, it completes a four set of D3 and three part Banshee. Which, nobody, I, I haven't seen it, so I'm thinking nobody else has run it. But running with a house that has deadly responsive card counter, and then those are the attachments. And then I run it with a Super 90 as a backup that also has Deadly Responsive and uh, Vicious. And then it's attachments. The Super 90 basically I just use to do burst damage if my shield goes down, but it's pretty rare. Uh, I keep my cool headed pistol around, but that's it for the pistol. And then on the chest piece I have a Banshee chest rolled for firearms with health, enemy armor damage, and kill XP. Uh, kill XP probably should be ammo capacity, and enemy armor damage could be skill haste if you'd like. Uh, I run with a D3 mask, rolled for firearms and crit chance, and kill XP. Kill XP should be burn resistance if you're doing this for PvP, but this also has huge PvE potential, and if that's the case that you're going to use it for that, then I would go with uh, damage to elites. On the knee pads, uh, they are D3 knees, rolled for firearms with skill power, and then I have uh, disorient, blind death, and damage to elites. Uh, if you're doing this for PvP, that should be shock burn, maybe bleed, uh, PvE, then you just want damage to elites, and then I would say shock burn. Uh, on the holster we have crit chance, and on the gloves we have banshee gloves, roll for firearms, SMG damage, crit chance, crit damage. And then on the backpack we've got a ninja bike bag, and it's rolled for firearms with skill power and ammo capacity, and then its attachments are stamina crit chance, and Ballistic Shield Damage Resilience. The Damage Resilience is to keep you a little bit safe behind that shield. And the Stamina mod is because at 3000 Stamina you get a little bit of boost to that shield health so it's not basically a piece of paper. Uh, here's the unlocks for the Banshee. Is you're getting the looted DZ funds and the damage out of cover which is what we're looking for. Uh, damage uh, Shield Damage Resilience all over the build. And then here are the mods here, or the uh, unlocks you're getting with D3, you're getting the 4 piece, so you're going to be able to use that SMG behind the shield. On this one you can see we have electronic skill power because the skill power cap for shield health I believe is in the neighborhood of 120 to 125 skill power. And then of course uh, ballistic shield damage resilience everywhere. And then there you can say we have firearms crit chance, firearms crit chance, and firearms crit chance. And then we're going to go over some of the stats here. You see that you're at 50% crit chance with 110% crit damage and 62% headshot damage. So this build has a lot of crits and it hits really hard. Uh, you can see here we have a little bit of enemy armor damage. I basically just did that to make the build hit a tiny bit harder. And then look at that damage to elites. That's not very high. That's only 14%. This is important for later because if you bounce that up, if you're a real PvE guy, that's going to be insane. Okay, so skills, I have a booster, which it does heal you because you have low stam, but I use it more for damage increase and damage resistance increase. There's your shield with uh, 780 some thousand HP, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not. It only buys you a little bit of time, but usually that's all you need. I run it with a uh, recovery link, but if you're feeling bold, attack link could also work and you will turn people to dust, which you'll see in the clips later. Uh, here are some of uh, the talents. I run with Adrenaline to get off status effects, Critical Save to boost your toughness, and Combat Medic to heal your shield and teammates. Uh, and then on the move to get you some resistance. But you can change these, there's some variable here. You can put on a uh, Precision over on the move if you, have, if you don't have someone running a Pulse on your team. And then if you have a healer on your team, uh, you can run uh, Chain Reaction instead of Adrenaline. Uh, that would be if you have a Reclaimer. But overall, this build is unbelievably hilarious. It hits so hard. Uh, the highest number I've seen so far is I saw a 34 crit headshot with the house on a player, which you don't see that very often, especially not from a D3 hybrid. Uh, not many people see D3 hybrids, so when they see you, they think you're a D3, but then you hit them super hard and they freak out. All right, here's the first clip. You see I got a couple of rogues in front of me, and yes, that man got burned down so quickly that he's dead over there on the stairs. And now this guy, you can see that I do get 
uh, like they do a lot of damage to me but usually I'm gonna be putting out more damage than they are and rip right through them like I did to that man and then just finishing this guy off you can see somebody came up the stairs to try to help me but either way that was a pretty good showcase of how this burns people down but uh, if that wasn't enough you could see it on this man he was running a banshee and he was a really nice guy so we were messaging back and forth about builds but you could see that banshee stamina does not have enough to handle this um, and then this guy here he's gonna run around the truck a little bit and uh, I think he goes to try to shoot the box in a minute here which don't I wouldn't do that when it's a reclaimer I mean it'll come right back but uh, Either way, he gets melted pretty quickly as well. This build is hitting high 20s, 30s, crits, and then here's some PvE potential I'll let you see, which you can see, oh my gosh, those are gold NPCs that are getting turned to dust. Now, take it with a grain of salt, because we are having a little bit of a global event here, so you're getting a headshot damage boost. Um, but also take into account, I don't have very much damage to elites either. If a real pve -er takes it into their hands, then this thing could become insane, which I think I'm going to turn this into a PvE build as well, and I'll probably post a video about that uh, whenever the D3 global event is, because I need a better mask if I want to do that. But either way, I'll let you see some Lexington Event Center here, and then I will close out. But I hope you enjoy the build. It's a ton of fun. I've been running it for the last couple of days.